are learning more about the Memphis woman who's accusing controversial Patriots wide receiver Antonio Brown of rape. Brown is being sued by Brittany Taylor, who graduated from Ridgeway High School and runs a local gymnastics studio. Taylor says Brown sexually assaulted and raped her during three separate encounters. Local 24 News senior investigator Jenny DiPrizio picks up the story from here. In the statement, Brittany Taylor says, as a rape victim of Antonio Brown, deciding to speak out has been an incredibly difficult decision. I have found strength in my faith, my family, and from the accounts of other survivors of sexual assault. Speaking out removes the shame that I've felt for the past year and places it on the person responsible for my rape. I will cooperate with the NFL and any other agencies. However, at this time, I respectfully request that the media please respect my privacy. The media usually doesn't name victims of rape, but this case is a little different. Brown hasn't been criminally charged. Taylor could have filed this lawsuit anonymously as a Jane Doe, but she chose to come forward. Deborah Club is with the Memphis Area Women's Council. It does take a lot of nerve, a lot of courage, and she will be, uh, no doubt, put through some pretty severe pushback uh, along the way. According to the lawsuit, Brown and Taylor met in college. Years later, he hired her as a personal trainer, and the lawsuit claims that's when the incidents happened, twice in 2017, the last in May 2018. The lawsuit says the sexual assaults have had devastating effects on her personal and professional life. She's brave to do it, especially in an environment where uh, we still have so many people who still default to the position of not believing a person who speaks up. Brown's agent says his client denies every allegation in the lawsuit and says the sex was consensual. Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News.